Well, since you asked so nicely... I will lead us to victory! What? 
<sighs> it's finally done. Oh, I have to catch up with the others. Ah, Traveler. <laughs> You're just in time. I'm chasing after the powerful Great Mujina Yokai with some new comrades I met. Why, from those comrades of mine, of course. Apparently, this extremely powerful yokai has been wreaking havoc across rural Inazuma. Whenever it comes across a child who has snuck outside to play, it starts teasing them. You know, things like tying their shoelaces together, or turning mud and roots into fruits on a tree, then tricking the children into eating them. Sometimes, it even dispatches a few mini-mujina and has them turn into parents or teachers to frighten the children. Anyway, there's no way I'm gonna let such a formidable yokai run loose. If you have time, why not join us on our pursuit of the great Mujina yokai? Oh, <laughs> so you know Yoimiya too. What a coincidence. Anyway, now's not the time for chit-chat. Yomiya and the others are looking for the great Mujina yokai's tracks up ahead. It's my responsibility to bring up the rear, and ensure the great Mujina doesn't attack us from behind in a fit of rage.
it's not here either. Uh, you and Mia, uh, are you sure the Great Mujin is nearby? If so, d d does that mean we're in its territory now? Oh, I I'm scared. Don't be scared. There's a whole group of us here, and we brought lots of fireworks too. If anything, the Great Mujina Yokai is the one that should be afraid. Yep, and Tartaglia is watching our backs. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yokai, it's the traveler. You've met him before, remember? That's right. The great Mujina Yokai has been getting pretty bold lately. It's even starting to trick people in broad daylight. Not only did it scribble all over Iwa's homework and get him in trouble at school, it also stole Saika's snacks and broke Matsuzaka's toys. Yeah, that's why we're here with Yoimiya. We're gonna chase that great Mujina yokai away for good. Oh, him. Um, we specially invited him to be our anti-Mujina specialist. Fireworks can only do so much. They may scare it away, but if we want it gone for good, we need the help of a real professional. Tartaglia is so cool! He becomes like a watery blur when he fights! All you hear is whoosh, whoosh, pow! And then all the monsters are defeated! Oh, if only he could teach me a few of his moves! Well, why don't we ask him after we've taken down the Great Magina Yokai? But right now, our priority is to search for evidence of this yokai and trace it back to its lair. And then we'll be able to tackle it head on, right, Uimiya? That's right. We'll defeat it together. Shh, keep your voice down. Don't let you out when the others hear you. He's one of the Fatui Harbingers, right? Sakajiro mentioned him to me before, and I heard about everything that happened in the Yue, too. I know that he might be dangerous, but he saved Iwao, and the kids all warmed up to him right away. He even happily agreed to help us find the great Mujina Yokai. I've heard that the Fatui are all really scary and dangerous, you know, like the kind of people you'd want to avoid the moment you lay eyes on them. But Tartaglia isn't like that at all. He's really nice to the kids. He even had an in-depth discussion with them about the great Jinu Yokai's combat skills. From my point of view, it doesn't seem like he's just pretending to be nice. I think the kids would agree. They believe he's a kind, reliable grown-up. No matter what Tartaglia's true identity might be, He's doing something good right now, and I think he deserves to be treated accordingly. But don't worry, I'm not gonna let my guard down. Okay, thanks. It's great to have you around. Oh, it's... Uh... Yuimiya, if so, did Don't be scared. There's a whole group of us here. And yep, and Tartaglia is watching our backs. There's nothing to be afraid of. Ah! Yuimiya! Ah! Yuimiya! Yuimiya! Tartaglia, help! It's the great Mujino Yokai! That's not a yokai, it's the traveler. You've met him before, remember? That's right. The great Mujina yokai has been getting pretty bold.
world lately. Not only did it scribble all over Iwao's homework and get him in trouble at school, it also stole Saika's snacks and broke Matsuzaka's toys. Yeah, that's why we're here with Yoimiya. We're gonna chase that great Mujina yokai away for good. Oh, him. Um, we specially invited him to be our anti-Mujina specialist. Fireworks can only do so much. They may scare it away, but if we want it gone for good, we need the help of a real professional. Tertaglia is so cool! He becomes like a watery blur when he fights! Oh, if only he could teach me a few of his moves! Well, why don't we ask him after we've taken down the Great Magina Yokai? But right now, our priority is to search for evidence of this Yokai and trace it back to its lair. And then we'll be able to tackle it head on! Right, Noemiya? That's right! We'll defeat it together! Shh! Keep your voice down! Don't let you out when the others hear you. He's one of the Fatui Herbingers, right? Sakajiro mentioned him to me before. And I heard about everything that happened in the Yue, too. I know that he might be dangerous, but he saved Iwao. And the kids all warmed up to him right away. He even happily agreed to help us find the great Wajina Yokai. I've heard that the Fatui are all really scary and dangerous. You know, like the kind of people you'd want to avoid the moment you lay eyes on them. But Tartaglia isn't like that at all. He's really nice to the kids. He even had an in-depth discussion with them about the great Jinu Yokai's combat skills. From my point of view, it doesn't seem like he's just pretending to be nice. I think the kids would agree. They believe he's a kind, reliable grown-up. No matter what Tartaglia's true identity might be, he's doing something good right now, and I think he deserves to be treated accordingly. But don't worry, I'm not gonna let my guard down. Okay, thanks. It's great to have you around.
up. Mora, wait for no one. Can I go catch up on my sleep?